And I think what really came out, which was quite interesting from the gay Muslims, was, I don't want to be an ex-Muslim. That came up a couple of times. Stop it. I don't want to be an ex-Muslim. Uh, and so we responded to that and said, actually, no one is asking you to be an ex-Muslim. No one is saying that you should be an ex-Muslim. But just like how you Muslims get excited when someone converts into the faith, we because they think it's the best ideology. Similarly, we do think that this is a, a, a better ideology than Islam. However, no one's asking you to do that. Don't do it if you don't want to. But what we are saying is, one, stop throwing us under the bus of Islamists to make yourself look like a better Muslim. And two, be committed to all human rights, including blasphemy. Because you can't march in a gay pride march saying that you're committed to human rights and then saying your sign is offensive because it blasphemes. When your existence as a gay Muslim is blasphemy much to so many blasphemy, other Muslims. Yeah. I, what I'm saying is that somebody could still be Muslim and less influenced by Islam. I'm, su I'm, I'm suggesting not to understand that we could reduce the influence of Islam in one person, but always recognize that this Islam influence is always a negative. Less of it is better. Somebody could be LGBT friendly. Somebody could be supporting secularism. Somebody could be supporting women rights. Somebody could be supporting democracy, freedom, and still a Muslim because they're less influenced by Islam, right? Don't Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.